Hello everybody and welcome to a special Friday game playthrough on Here on Off The Shelf Reviews. I'm Ian. And I'm Jeff. And I am showing Jeff a little gem that I came across a while ago. Starflight. Yeah, so this is uh, where it all begins, is it? This is where it all begins. I, I came across this game, I downloaded it onto my ROM player, and I was just amazed. You're a big Star Citizen fan, you love yeah, your sci-fi yeah, yeah. games, love Wing that. Commander and all that. Yeah, huge fan of the uh, up-and-coming big space exploration epics that are coming. Um, I like the look of uh, trying out that No Man's Sky, but the big one I'm waiting for is uh, Star Citizen. Yeah, yeah, and I think this is the grand daddy of Star Citizen. Yeah, I have yeah. been playing this, practicing it. This is us. This is Captain Ian in his <laughs> spacesuit walking around the space station. Nice. Doesn't seem much not... to start off with, but it's gonna get deeper slightly different graphical fidelity to uh, my hangar in star city yes definitely definitely <laughs> so here we are first our first stop is the operations this is where we get our letter from the company it's the year 4620 it's quite far away yeah that's, that's <laughs> well, yeah, well, i guess you'd have to be for some advanced space flight that's pretty, pretty, it's pretty good guess though yeah 4620 yeah, yeah. they're giving themselves some time at least it's not like you know Back to the Future, yeah, uh, you know, yeah. we haven't got hoverboards yet. You know. Yeah, we're about to embark on our first mission. In our bank account, we'll find 50,000 monetary units. <laughs> this money is spent training your crew, configuring your ship, and purchasing any necessary materials. Of course, you may wish to leave some portion of this in the bank because you need to you need to buy fuel so that you can travel. Okay, so you got a, a bit, good bit of a whole management thing going you on. You do, here, yeah. Here are our objectives. We've got to seek out new worlds. We've got to bold, boldly go where no man, no one, sorry, has gone before. Mm. Establish contact with any sentient life forms. Capture and bring back non sentient life forms. Mm. Alien, bring back alien artifacts. Record alien life form data. I always like number eight keep from getting brutally killed. <laughs> you think that would be like the, the highest one, the first one they come to? Yeah, you, know, you think so. Try not to get killed. I do like this in, in the little. Uh, op, uh, message. Yeah. We have coordinates that we are told to avoid. Avoid the area of space around the coordinates 13584, since that is where we lost contact with two of our earlier ships. Ooh. So you kind of want so to like go there. You now, yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. oh, I want to go there. Yeah. Scouts report indicate a high density of minerals in the mountainous regions of the innermost planet of our system. Oh, nice. Right, so... So, you, this at, at the moment, the way that that bit of script set this up, it's almost like, you know, it, it, you've actually got to do mining, and you've got to go from lots of systems, and yep. all that sort of thing. We've so. got to get our crew first, and our ship ready, so... I'm going to get our first crew member. Uh, I'm going to call him... I'm going to call him Jeff. Oh, nice. You're going to be part of my crew, Jeff. Reporting in for duty, Captain. And what shall we... M oh, I'm... Press the wrong button, duh. Go back to Jeff. G E O F F and then B for done. And then what do we want to make you? Human, Velox, Thrin, or Elowen, or an Android. Now, these four top ones, you right. can actually upgrade their skills, but the Androids are free and can't be upgraded. Right, okay. Well I'm not an Android. I'm, I don't know, sometimes you can be. <laughs> I don't, uh, Go on then, make me human. Since make I you am human. human. I'll be your, you your human. human crew member. There's our first human member, Jeff. I, know, I seem to be quite good at science. Yep, we're going to assign you in a minute to, to your different duties. We're going to add another one. We'll, we'll get Gary in. We'll get Gary in. Uh, are you going to make Gary a robot? I could make him a robot. <laughs> Sometimes he could. Yeah, let's make him an android. He likes being an android. Nice. And we'll get a third crew member because you, you you can hire people for free, but it costs money mm. to to upgrade their skills. And You've got fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. So let's let's go for a girl now. Let's get a female character. We'll call her Tina, just for fun. We'll take Tina out into space. Cool. I got that. Oh, uh, Ina. Ina. Sorry. Uh, yeah, Ina. Let's just go with Ina. Ina's good. Ina's good. <laughs> and we'll make Ina a, a Thrin. Let's make right. her a Thrin. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure the, the different types of life forms. She's reptilian, apparently. Uh, we're going to assign them now. Right, so, looking at our skills. Jeff, you're not really good as a science officer, so we'll set... 
I'm not good as a science officer. Uh, you're um, you're uh, 50. That's all I'm good at. You're 50. We'll set you as that. We'll set Gary as our navigator and our engineer. Oh, yeah, he's badass. We'll set Nina on our communications, and I think we'll have to set you as the doctor as well. Oh, yeah, I'll be Dr. Jeff. Dr. Jeff. Now, I would train you guys and give you skills, but as this is only a small playthrough, yeah. I don't expect us to live very long. All right, <laughs> okay. So, right, now we pop back, head into our ship. See, I just love this. I haven't even got into the game yet, and I've got to develop all this stuff for my crew. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so some proper management stuff going on. Yep, so this is our ship, and down here we've got our key V, which is our terrain vehicle, mm -hmm. which is what you use to go out and mine resources. Yeah. Now, re it reflects back for me to the Mass Effect series, especially Mass Effect 1 and 2. Right, yeah, that's pretty much, yeah. It's exactly the same, isn't it? We'll get some ice runners. I guess runners. this is an EA Arts game as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. They must have taken the ideas and yeah, gone. Oh, yeah. remember Starflight? We yeah. produced that. We could, do, we could do that in 3D. Yeah, now. we can. We could do that now. Right. Buy some pontoons oh. and some turbos for it, so it can go yeah, on upgrade, water. Yeah, There's quite a lot of upgrades you could get there. Yeah, as well, yeah. You need you need to upgrade it because the first couple of planets they've got storms, they've got yeah. they've got water, they've got ice, and your TV. If you if it gets too far. Mm. You lose it, and if you lose it, you've got to pay for a new one. Right. Okay. And that sucks because obviously you need really it to. Expensive, are they? Well, fifteen thousand, I think it is, and that plus you need to get really the. Expensive. Yeah. You started with what fifty thousand odd. Yes, and we're down to forty-four already from the upgrades, but we need to get some shields for our ship. We're only going for level one at the moment because right. we're going to try and save some money, even though I might kill us all. <laughs> okay. Armor yeah. class one, and we'll go for a weapon. Let's go. Well, let's go for a pulse cannon. And a tri cannon, just just for laughs. Right. So you got two. two it says weapons none now. Oh, because I pressed the wrong button again. Oh, you think I'd remember with these buttons? <laughs> think I'd remember. Right. Okay. Done. 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 There we go. There we go. Now we've got the weapons. Okay. Now there's, we've... there's a lot going on here. So this was originally oh. a DOS game, right? Done it again. Yes. Oh, he's done it again. I've done it again. Done yeah, it again. Trying to buy the wrong thing. There you go. Done. There we go. Done. Nice. Done. And now, now we go back. Right. I forgot one more thing we've got to do on the ship. What's that? We have to name it. Ah. We have to. You have to name I your ship ISS. before you leave. Before you leave. The ISS. Well, it already says ISS at the top. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Uh, um. Let's call it. The, the the Enterprise, the Galactica, the Event the, Horizon. The event event horizon. That's that's not a good name for a ship. <laughs> <laughs> it's no it's it's we're, not a good we're probably doomed anyway, so Yeah yeah, possibly, possibly. Event Horizon. See the, the, I I've been playing this game quite a bit. Oh, we can uh, only have uh, That's fine. Event her Event her <laughs> Event her. Event her. The ISS event her. And here is our stock exchange kind of trading depot. Oh, look at this. Eat, eat your heart out, lean dangerous. You can buy, you know, you find minerals all on the planets and you can buy yeah. and sell them. Yeah. And obviously, you get, uh, the further you get down the list, the more kind of weirder yeah. energy stuff you get. The Enderium is mainly your fuel. Oh, so, okay, so that's you need that shit. Then. Yeah, we're gonna go with some of that. Done. Okay. Now, hopefully, we can go out into space. We're done. We're done. Yep. Nice. Warning airlock. Here we go. We're now in space. Oh, 3D stars, and we are now in space. And I, this is it. This is what I absolutely started to what? love about this game was the fact that this little star map that we've got. Yeah. You know, we're we're in this little solar system. You've got the three white orbs there, which are I, I've come to recognise as ice planets. Right. Okay. And we are starting to come into orbit of one now. You have to actually establish an orbit with the planet. It looks a bit rough, but. There, there we you go. go. So once you're in orbit, it just goes round and round. It like just goes automatically, automatically but you, you obviously you have to bring your ship in because it will just fly back. The you gravitationals of the planet. Angle, angle, yeah. Yep. Going round and round. And we're going. Oh, 
Wanted to get my science officer on it. Orbit established. Okay, guys. Right. Now we're going to get our science officer. Jeff, I think you're our science officer. Yeah, yeah. You're going to send me yeah. down there to do some science? No, no. I'm going to get you to sense the planet. Okay. Oh, you have no idea what the planet's like. Ah, uh, that's not very good. Should have given you some more skills in that. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. We're uh, lost orbit again. Uh, come on. Establish orbit. There we go. This so event horizon is going to really kill us all. Using any fuel at the moment. No, because we're in system. So I think right. it's all retro retro thrusters that we're using inside this. Right. Once we get out into the big map, start using your fuel. That's right. when you start having to use fuel. Right. Okay. So now we're going to. Oh, I'm going to ask our science officer, even though he can't use the sensors, to analyze the planet. Okay. Sensor reading needed. Ah, right. Uh, oh, right. So, do need the sensors. So, do, need do, the do sensors. I need to be better at using the sensors, or do the sensors yeah. need to be better? I think uh, you can get bigger crew, and mm. obviously, if one, if you're trying to split your crew members between two things like doctoring and dealing with the sensors, you're yeah. running back and forth along the event horizon. You're right, just like, yeah. I can't get there. Yeah. So, we are going to go and try and land. On our first planet, uh, and this is the this is the planet's surface. Right. Obviously, you can see the high, low altitude. The, the blue is kind of in the middle. The grey is really quite low, and the purple is quite high. Okay. So, as it's our first planet, where would you like to land? Um. Well, go in somewhere low. Let's see if we can find something. Somewhere in low. The crater. Like, the heck here? Is that yeah. There? Yeah. Good? That's good. Okay. And this is crazy because uh, uh, I didn't what, hit the I didn't around? hit my thrusters. I didn't hit my thrusters. You've got to use your thrusters to land, and I don't want to land on that patch of water. And it's nightfall as well, so I'm using fuel at the moment to try and land the ship. You have to land the ship because if you crash, oh, you're gonna use your lose your armor. Right. Now I'd like to. Oh, that's cool. Is this a blizzard? See you next. It's, it looks windy. It's looking windy, so we're going to disembark and send out our little ATV. They're not messing around, are they? They've done nope. loads of like stuff simulated oh, here. There we uh, go. See, mineral rich. Yeah, those little red patches, that's their minerals. But if a storm starts kicking off... Right, there we go. Oh, we've got some copper. Copper. Nice. Uh, mine that. Mine that. No more. No. What's that? That's a little alien creature. We're gonna try and pick him up. We pick him up. Yeah, we got him. Nice. Ah, boom. What else can okay. You get? There's more stuff there. Go get it. There's more stuff, but if you look up in the top corner, it says 70 fuel. The mm. further I go, the more fuel I use. Oh, that's right. You can get there, but I've got to that get. I've got to get back to the. Oh, killed it. What's all that stuff up there? The cross. That. Those are. Oh, I come across these on planets, but I'm not down. entirely sure what they do. I haven't actually looked them up yet. That's, w that's weird. That, that is weird. Somewhere to dig. I think so. Oh. Can we get any more? No, because we've only got one cargo pod, so we can only hold small amounts of cargo it at the moment. Looks like your cargo is not full yet, though. Right. That's it. We're going to embark. Take off. And take our newfound minerals back to the space station. So that was our first established nice. planet fall. Yeah, we got some stuff. That was just like Mass Effect. It was. It was just like Mass Effect, the first one. Now, I want to know what this little red planet is over here. Because the map changes. Every time I play, mm -hmm. the maps change. I've played a couple of games where I've only had one ice planet in this first in so, this first map. So this is must be <coughs> procedurally generated then yeah. as well at the same time. So so they really like what this is is actually uh, incredibly technically advanced at the back end. It's yeah. really advanced way beyond its its time because it's modeled l stuff that is featured even in modern space games today. Yep. Yep. Um, See now you we've just censored so this, is, this when, moon. When did this come out 1986. 1986. So and, uh, this well, this is the Genesis version. This came out in 1991. Yeah. So this is, you know, this is advanced. Yeah. The only way this has really had to compromise is in graphics, isn't it? Yeah. 
but, uh, but everything else I don't is mind the graphics the, everything else the story is there I mean there's uh, we're just flying around mining at the moment, but there is actually a whole massive story involving you trying to protect the universe and trillions of people, different races. So that sounds pretty cool. Uh, right, okay, I'm gonna land on this planet, try and get us some more, some more minerals. Uh, that's high, that's low, so let's land there. Oh, right. Oh, this looks oh, like a um, good planet. Oh, you left Oh, me. no, orbit, the gravity was quite, the gravity is different on each planet. Right. So look, I'm coming down quite slow on this planet. Right, okay. So oh, don't have to good. use the thrusters so much, but still still want to come into land and not crush any settlers. Uh, so difficult flying a starship. There's nobody there. Yeah, tell me about it. I've been playing Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've seen your uh, attempts to try and get Kerbals <laughs> in space. Yeah. So we're gonna disembark and we'll do another mineral scan. Ooh, mineral rich over there. Uh, drive, drive, drive. More copper. Where's the more copper? I don't know. Disappeared. It you picked up one tiny little bit. And one tiny it. little bit, and then it's like, nope, no can, more. Can you like dig deeper? Oh, there's another bit that's still there. Right there. But for some reason, sometimes I go onto a go onto a spot, and then it's just like, nope. No Maybe more. Nothing there. Do you need like uh, better tools? You can get to uh, upgraded mineral scanners, which can help you find bigger, bigger pools of minerals. Right. Uh, but obviously that costs. We'll go down to this little. Ah, oh, I've got, got a lot of fuel left. Any more? What? No. Nope. Nothing there. No. Nope. Mineral scan. These things must be deeper down. Yeah. Might need it. Run out of fuel. I'm going back to the ship. <laughs> Give me a break. I'm in command of a starship here. Okay. Right. We're going to head back to the space station. Maybe drop off some... Drop off our minerals. And then we'll head out to the big star map. Because that's the thing that really impresses me the most. Is that this isn't just it. It's like a so whole just the solar, solar system. system, and that's home, yeah. Yeah, so this, this is kind is of our home base. base. I think there are more space stations you can come across, right? Uh, but I just haven't come across them because they keep getting killed by aliens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now what can you do? You can so land we're gonna on there. we're gonna land here. Okay, so now you're back here. We're back here. We head into our little trading depot. We go to sell. So we want to keep the endurium. Yeah. We'll sell slugite. The slugite. Can you 50. do research on that? I'll get some. Science no, on. it's not XCOM. No. <laughs> you know, it's not our job. We just kill the things. We don't. We don't research them. Right. Okay. We're gonna sell the copper. So that's giving, giving us a bit of money, and we're gonna go and buy some more endurium. Uh, I, I always seem to just buy ten. It just seems like a nice round number. I'm not overspending then. Yeah. And I know how much fuel I've got. So. Ten, tens, ten thousand. It's quite expensive. It's a fuel free ship. Oh, no. Back out of the trading post, please. This suit's so cumbersome. <laughs> yeah, spacesuit design hasn't come along very far in 400 <laughs> no, years. No, no. I don't understand why I'm wearing one inside a space station. Yeah. <laughs> you think you think I'd be able to, you know, breathe there? But obviously, like I said, there's these three planets that I think in this first solar system, you're supposed to just take the time to train, to go around the different planets and... And milk them up. Milk them up. Because there's a lot on each planet, isn't there? Like, yeah. there's a lot to explore. Whole, like, each the whole of those surface. tiny little squares, you then go down there, you can actually walk around each one of those little squares. Yep. Yeah, and you then can, there's a few planets here. So once once you land so your ship, all the planets are totally different as well. So it's proper procedural generation, isn't it? It's like it's just a random. Yeah, once you land your ship, you can move your ship to mm. other parts of the planet, but obviously it costs fuel, yeah. and so you just think, well, I might as well just go back so into orbit. Oh, you just left now I'm in the star map, so I'm going to go to the navigator, and I'm going to say, hey navigator, show me a star map, and here's our star map. Okay. But it's not just here. It goes what? all the way up what? here. What? Goes all the way along here. Obviously, it tells you how much fuel it will cost and where we are, distance. What the all these fuck pink. Look at all 
this? this? These pink blobs are nebulas that can affect your shields and yeah. your communications. Oh, yeah. So all these dots are star systems you can go to. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. And there are aliens hidden out there and things to find. I mean, obviously it pales into insignificance in comparison to no man's sky which is like billions of flipping systems right? yeah but this is on a mega drive <laughs> yeah. this is on a mega drive on a mega drive this is crazy all right we're gonna head to this little blue orb here because i know this little blue orb this is always the solar system i always come to which is next and obviously i think you're supposed to you know go into this solar system mm. use to use it to mine and then head back to the other space station establish orbit there we go. There we go. Take your time, crew. Come on. Nice. Uh, right, Science Officer Jeff, need you to center the planet. Yeah, come on. Do your job, Jeff. Obviously, we're looking. Ah, there we go. This looks. This looks like a Earth-like place. Yeah, we're we're looking for planets to colonize. So this right. is always a good one. If you, if you, um, if you log planets that aren't very good for colonization. Yeah. They fine you. Right. So they you, pay you, you money for finding colonizable planets. Uh, right. Okay. And fine you for. I dropped stars on them. I was just like, yeah, here's a sun. Do you want to land on that? No. Right. We're going to find you 25,000. Oh, oh, ouch. I'm really... Okay, you guys might not want to look at the other three files then <laughs> that I brought you. Right. Uh, the orbit again. There we go. Okay. So is this one of our habitable planets? Yeah? This is one of our habitable planets. We're going to... We're going to land in it. I suggest not the blue stuff. So blue must be water in this Yeah, case, blue yeah? must be water. And the, uh, obviously, Land I put in the uh, I put pontoons on the AT on the TV, so he can drive over water. Hmm. But obviously, it's not not needed really. No. Uh, oh, retros, retros. Some fairly decent gravity here, is there? Yeah. yeah. Gravity, gravity, land, and we're down. Nice. Right. Okay. Same as before, people. Disembark and find me minerals. Oh, right over there. Ooh. Titanium. Titanium. Mm, only two. Only two. Any more? Let's drive up here a bit. Mineral scan. I'll sum up there. Just like tapping the buttons all around this. Ah, there we go. There's more titanium. Bit of titanium. Got to watch our fuel because the ship's quite far. Hey, get her over here. There oh, oh that was loads. Oh, well, what is that? I right. oh, shoot. shoot it. Kill it, kill it, keep them away, kill it. Ah, oh, shouldn't have uh, killed them. Can you shoot your own shit? I. Oh, you can save it. Uh, get I, the life. I, I can't, can't get it. He won't pick it up. Okay, let's try. Uh. Oh, there's another weird one there. Let's try embarking, dropping off what we've got, and disembarking. Can we pick up the alien? No, we cannot pick up this weird, weird alien. Get the other alien. I, I don't want to get any aliens. I want to. I don't want to. Get killed. You, you, you get points for getting life back. Yeah, but we don't know what these aliens will do to us. Let's just leave them alone in peace after uh. we kill two of them. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting too close to the ship. Yeah. Can't take any risks. So we fly into the sun. We can fly. We can, can orbit, orbit the, the sun. sun. You can orbit round that close to the sun. Yep. You? There yeah. we go. Oh, wow, that's ridiculous. Well, it's the near four, four, six, we've two, got, four. We've got heat. Two down. O, sorry. Managing heat shields. Heat but I just, uh, I, you know, when I found this game, I was just like, I had, to, I had to show you. I know how you're a fan yeah, of all these sci-fi things. It just blows my mind that this was able to be created on such Gas small, giant. On, such, on such tiny amounts of memory and hardware. I want to try and find an alien so we can get into some communications with them. And it goes to show you as well, like the people that made these games in the beginning and now the owners of gigantic companies <laughs> yeah yeah but uh, who are now like making massive versions of this vision that they had uh, all that time ago yeah so it, you know like it's the idea has been around for a long time we're finally at a stage where we can use the, have the technology to make it a really like vivid immersive experience yeah but you know the ambition's been there since the 80s right got to be careful with our fuel i don't know where the next system is actually so i'm just oh oh scanners indicate unidentified object wow, uh, oh dear. Uh -oh, okay 
Navigator. Uh, no, can, not navigator. Can, can you, Communications. Gonna, oh. Hail. Oh, We're gonna really? hail him. Hail, O oh mighty ones, masses of the universe. We bow to your wonderful magnificence and ask that you do not harm our insignificant selves. What were you, were you, uh, oh, yeah. oh no. I've met these guys before. What are they? What are the, what's this? Is this like... The, it's binary. That's that's a, what I AI, see it as. AI mind. Yeah, that's it. It's... You can just, you know, you can are talk you, to these you, aliens. I'm communicating. You're buttering up for the binary. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can change my, I can change the uh, emotion that I come across. I can come mm. across as, uh, I think it's ubiquitous, yeah. friendly, or you know, hostile. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I've come across these aliens before, and you know, they speak in binary, so I don't know how to communicate in binary. Right. And I don't think they can actually understand me, so. Uh, we're going to be friendly. We're going to be like, as represent representatives of the people of ARF, they call it ARF, <laughs> we extend our best wishes and hope for equitable relations in the future. Anything, Mr. Binary? Just, will you just sit there and wait for a response, yeah. do you? Yeah. He, he, you know, that's, oh, what wow. I, that's, that's what I find sometimes. Some aliens are really talkative. You can't get a question in sideways. Some aliens, like these ones... You know, you have to kind of talk in a particular fashion. And there'll be something to unlock them. Yeah. Can you just shoot them and then raid them? I could attempt to shoot them, but obviously I only put a level one shield and level one guns on them. And I don't yeah, know what will happen if... Right. <laughs> it's a bit like FTL oh, they, in that respect. They've, they've gone. They've gone now. They've gone off on their own thing. They've just left, gone away now. Yep. Oh, another star system. That's so weird. Oh my god, this game is amazing. Another star system? Right, estimated time to system flares, 341 days. Man, how did I not know about this game? This game is incredible. There's a whole backstory as well where there's a, a, a crystal planet waiting to, wanting to wipe out the universe and you have to stop it. So, you know, you, you go out there, you make friends with aliens, you make enemies with aliens, and all the while you know that the timer will keep popping up saying, 300 and so days until the destruction of the universe. 200 and so days. 10 days. And you're kind of like, <laughs> God damn it, I didn't pick up the thing. I need to get more minerals. Uh, this is a, a tiny system. It's only got this star. But then what I've also found is some things don't appear on the map. Right. So I, I you know, we could either leave this sy little system or we could search this whole thing and possibly find just an asteroid. Right. But it might be like a really mineral rich asteroid. It could be. But I'm looking at our fuel up there. Doesn't look like anything's doesn't look, be so there, I'm thinking we might just have to head back to Yeah, we used a lot of fuel and that's expensive shit. Yeah. You haven't got anything like a decent cargo at the no. moment. No. Oh, so oh. it must be quite easy to run out of economy and just be dead in the water. It it can be. Oh, two hundred and ninety seven days now. Um, I mean if your ship is destroyed, game over. Yeah. If you're permadeath. AP, permadeath, basically. Um, right. If if your ship is too damaged, if I run out of fuel out in the system, I have to call distress. Yeah. And somebody will come and rescue me and bring me back to the space station. Mm -hmm. But then they will find me. Right. They will find me for being rescued, and then obviously I have to go buy more fuel. So I think this is why this this first little solar system. You know, you have to. You have to obviously milk it you have to take all the th all the minerals that you can yeah so you've got so you've got enough fuel to go out and do enough fuel enough fuel yeah. enough upgrades for your atv and yeah just very 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 cool it's just it's, it reminds me of ftl as well in some ways uh, you know like because of the random encounters yeah and, but you're actually controlling it instead of just going from static image to static image with a yeah when an alien when the aliens attack you you have to go to your you have to go to your engineer you have to get him to put up shields you have to get him to put up weapons yeah. you have to then attack and obviously watch yourself yeah, yeah. if you survive you then have to put in all the repairs yeah, yeah. and it's, it's crazy it's, it's yeah like i can see where i mean this is like you say this is the granddaddy isn't it this the is the granddaddy, granddaddy. Of pretty much all space games oh to all captains, one of our ships was just destroyed by what reports indicate to be androids. Approximately 20 sectors mm. directly coalward of ARF. Passing through this area, be careful. Unpleasant news. Uh, oh, I didn't log that planet. 
Why didn't you log that planet for me, Jeff? What's that? That that we were supposed to the the Earth-like planet we went past. I did. I did. And I scanned it. I landed yeah, I on it. I mined it, yeah. and then I left it. Yeah. I didn't log it. If you if you log the planet, you get right. money. Right. Uh, these guys, obviously, this is this is where they tell us about the solar flares. Mm-hmm. And um, consider yourself carefully before logging a planet, and you know, just being so this is, this is out so there this looking for stuff. So there's a big planet is gonna destroy the universe, and you gotta stop it. You've got to try and stop it. That's if you survive coming across any other life forms and stuff. Right. But let's. Uh, ooh, um, the titanium's not so not so good. It's giving us some money, but we're gonna buy some more endarium. Yeah, you could have you could have fit a lot more on your ship. Yeah, can we buy that? Yeah, that's taking us back up to 27 and drop this down to 14 credits. And that's it. That's all your money gone. That's all my money gone. It's, 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 yeah, I... I surprisingly... Uh, a surprising amount of content, really, considering. And I guess that's just what procedural generation can do for you. Yeah. I mean, to, to fit this kind of... Uh, kind of a game into something such a small amount of memory they must have been pretty damn good programmers that's oh, all i can say yeah you can see why they've gone on to now you know or like what's come off the back of them is huge yeah huge organizations excuse yeah this was what like a little five-man team wasn't it and and the, basically it was sort of like the one of the guys from EA, one of the top boffins from EA, they're just like mates, aren't they? Yeah. You know, and they're all kind of hanging out together doing stuff like this. Oh, oh. I was reading a little bit about the story of it when you were telling me about this game, but... So, yeah. so five-man team putting in all this time to develop. You see my ship shaking there. The planet is going through earthquakes. I've got to be careful because it's going to cause problems. Oh, oh, shaky. Mineral scan. Oh, there is nothing. I hate it when I land on places like this. It's just nothing. It's just <laughs> nothing. You're just like, how am I supposed? Oh, damn. It does make you oh, wonder, though, oh. doesn't it? It makes you think. We're about to lose our ATV. Gary takes damage. Rescue ship oh. has been dispatched. Oh, you have been rescued by a love boat. The TV is lost. No. <laughs> it makes you wonder about Mass Effect, though, doesn't it? Like. You feel almost like Mass Effect started out trying to be sort of like this and yep. ended up being more like Knights of the Old Republic in the end, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. This, this, you know, when you talk about Star Citizen, you know, I want to play Star Citizen, but I don't have the time, I don't have the, the software. Yeah. Then I go to this and I'm just like, why do I need, why do I need a 900 quid PC <laughs> to play Star Citizen? When I can just whip out my Mega Drive emulator and play this. <laughs> well, I guess if you uh, can't afford to uh, run Star Citizen, then this would be the next best thing. This is it. This is this it. This or FTL. Yeah. I think we are going to have to be coming to an end in a minute because I just lost the TV and I spent all that money on fuel. <laughs> so that's it. You're that's fucked. it. That's it. Due to your negligence. <sighs> Hand in, head in hand. <laughs> Your ship is no longer equipped with a train vehicle. A new one is currently being installed. Oh, for which you are being fined 10,000. Yeah. Oh, well, they've installed one. I just have been fined 10,000. Mm. But... I, I wish Mass Effect was more like this game. Yeah, I see. I was a big fan of Mass Effect 1. I really loved the planets, landing on the moon, driving mm. around the car. Loved all that. Mass Effect 2 came along. You know, you got into orbit, you fired missiles at it. Got the resources... Yeah. Completed the game, and I was just like, "Okay, I'll wait for Mass Effect Three, and then I played <laughs> Mass Effect Three, and it was there was none of it. There was no, none of it, and it was, I was, it was I, all just pointless. I just wanted to go back to the first one. The first one was such a brilliant RPG. So, yeah, yeah. screw the fucking EA. Yeah, this, uh, when EA was doing shit like this, it was amazing. It was awesome when it was like this. Yeah, and EA now no longer does awesome. It does commercial bland. Let's Oh. But this is why we... Oh, dear. Oh, you look oh. like you're in trouble. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. Uh, let, let's be friendly. Greetings. We come in peace. The three of you. <laughs> <laughs> Please identify yourselves. We are McCann 9. Oh, oh, no. oh dear. I, 
he looks like a Terminator. Yeah, everything's robotic. Why is this lo- loads of robot stuff? Well, there's AI everywhere. There's there's androids. There's these robots. There's the binary stuff. I mean, there are ant-like life forms and, right. and lizards and. So yeah, what's the? Uh, let's talk to them. We would greatly appreciate some information. Is there anything you can tell us about other races? <clears throat> and he's just ignoring you. Oh, nope. We will answer no questions. I, I don't like that answer. That's but, uh, people of Arf, we expand our best wishes and our hope to equitable relations in the future. Is it gonna kill us? Is it gonna kill us? Terminate. Our scanner show that your vessel is derived from Empire Technology. Do you confirm? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Well, what's it? You know what? Yeah. yeah, it is. What? What are you gonna do, fool? What are you gonna do? I'm, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna turn hostile. Uh, oh, I'm gonna uh, turn. Uh, you fools! You risk the wrath of the people of Arf. <laughs> Anything? Are you Group Nine? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, this is it. They, they, I mean, the 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 conversation pieces are just. I don't know. Wait. Yeah. Are you prepared? Uh-oh. Uh oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm prepared. Are you prepared? <laughs> Toaster. Cylon fool. Do you serve the Layton? See, I. What? Who's Layton? I don't know. We've literally we've come out. We've certain we searched some planets. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Uh, run! Run! Run, guys! Ba-bear, ba-bear, ba-bear. Oh wait, wait. Uh, we'll go to navigator. Ray shields. Shield navigator. Arm weapons. weapons. Shoot it! Fire! Fire! Death to the droids! Oh, somebody said something. I think it came up saying somebody was somebody was injured, so let's true nope, nope. That's fine. Okay. Everybody's fine. Oh, Come oh, on! Oh. Get some! Get some! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Destroy you! Destroy you all! Yeah, fracking toasters! Fracking toasters! There's three of them. Toasters. Cheating bastards yeah. going around in their crews. I did not expect yeah. this for our video. Uh oh. Out of uh, out of uh, weapons, it, out, of weapons out, out, out of weapons, out of fuel. You're dead in space, dead in space. Me. You're fucked. You are We're, absolutely yeah. boned. They are going to co- you just sit shoot there down our shields. In the expanse, wait for them to. S- well, they're not very good shots. Yeah, they're um, terrible. <laughs> terrible shots. <laughs> Got free hooking hit on you. But, see, but see, now this is it. This, I mean, I don't feel so bad about this because on a playthrough, you it's know, like you're pretty safe. You 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 get you get. You get out there. You come across these guys. Who is Layton? What is Group Nine? <laughs> Am I really prepared for heaven? I, I, I don't know. So all these things. I guess these are questions that can be answered. They are. There they are know. questions that obviously you would you 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 come across in the game. You find other systems, other people to talk to. The company will tell you stuff. I mean, I could, if I had better weapons and shields, I might be able to handle these three guys at the same time. Do you do I really want to take on three yeah. android like ships? Yeah, you could have just. Uh, oh come on, guys! I mean, Jesus, you you yeah, were yeah. damaging me more the, if I, I was I think your moving. Place is uh, just just stood, stood still at the moment. Your shield keeps recharging faster than they can shoot it off. I could distress. Let's let's go to communications. Uh, we'll, we'll try hailing them again. Captain, near the event, her. We're on a peaceful mission. We're of course communications. No, I don't think they want to talk anymore. I don't think they will want to talk. Okay, mm-hmm. let's let's Just try and put a distress signal up. Let's put a distress signal up. Communications, distress. I'm sorry, Captain. Distress calls are being jammed. <laughs> We've oh, literally no. got to sit here and oh, get no. destroyed. <laughs> oh well. Well. I think that's a good metaphor for our life. <laughs> yeah, the machines will rise and destroy us, yeah. sitting out here in the empty void. But I'm glad I was able to take this time to show you yeah. and 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 the I'm viewers well. Starflight for the Genesis. I do recommend this game because it's just so deep. It's a, a lot deeper than a lot of games that are out now. Yeah, it looks like there's some epic story and it looks like it's really cool how you'll uncover it. Yeah, and I'm sure obviously through playing it through... Uh, emulators you'd be able to save your progress you know you'd be able to search the internet and work out exactly thing the right things to say to a bunch of <laughs> rebellious androids do you uh do you recommend it uh it looks absolutely awesome yeah i mean if i wish games if star citizen has as sort of interesting and richer amount of content but in glorious 3d yeah i'd be well happy 
And uh, if you haven't got the system to run, you know, these fancy games, then yeah, this would definitely keep you busy, keep you entertained. This was the sort of thing I used to love as a kid. Yeah. And I can't believe I missed out on it. I didn't know about it. I could have run this and happily played this as well. Yeah, and you would have probably been one of those guys that would have searched the whole universe for everything. Oh, I'd have been on this for, like, months on end. Giving up <laughs> your life for the greatness of space. Yeah, yeah, determined to find out who all these characters were and what all these races were about. Yeah, and that would have been wicked. Yeah. Yeah, man, this is highly recommended. Very much so. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next Friday for another retro possible futuristic gameplay. We're just going to sit here in space and get obliterated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take it easy.